Hello everyone, it's your boy, Alternative Voice again, and I would like to talk about how I got sober for a second time, without anybody's help. See, I realized that alcohol was causing a big problem in my life. I was, you know, missing jujitsu classes because of hangovers. I was, you know, wasting money on something really stupid, and drinking when I should be studying or doing something a little more productive, like exercising. There were several excuses I used, like, um, like the fact that I had to walk a mile and, and a mile back to go get my beer, and I argued that this was good exercise. I eventually stopped drinking altogether and just went on a walk, you know? And um, what I did is I listed all the reasons why I had not to drink. No more hangovers. No, no none of that. No skipping important events because of hangovers. And it wasn't the drinking itself that fucked me over. It was the hangovers because I was just incapacitated. Lot lay lay in my bed all day and felt sick and I threw up. But you see, that's neither here nor there. Um, AA says that, you know, admit that you're not in, that you're powerless over alcohol and all that shit. I say bullshit. That's just giving up. The idea is not give up. The idea is grow up, man up. And um, so that's what I did. I took responsibility for it. And I trudge through it. And the more time goes on, the less I miss the booze. And my life is better off without it. I'm much more productive now. And, um, you know, I didn't need AA. I didn't need a group. I just most certainly didn't need inpatient care with a bunch of stupid rules like no cell phones. All I needed was some discipline and some manhood. You know... Stop being weak. Because I just tell myself, alcohol is for pussies. And no man wants to be a pussy. You see, um, the thing is, is all this crap about addiction being a disease? I don't know if it's a disease or not. Because I didn't have any really bad withdrawal symptoms from alcohol. I just trudge through it, and I'm glad it's gone. You see, that's the thing about life. All this politically correct bullshit. You know, the thing about addiction is, is that you sleepwalk into it. And you sleepwalk your, yourself into relapse. And relapse is not part of recovery. It's a, it's about, it's a part of addiction. And you see, I eventually manned up and did what I had to do, which was stop drinking. It's called discipline, people. Man up, grow up, and stop boozing. Now, there are many people in AA who would say, I'm just white knuckling some white knuckling knuckle sobriety you know, or some shit like that which is basically doing it all on your own and I guess that's what I've done and you know what it worked I have been sober now for about 60 days and that's the, the gist of it I keep myself sober I don't need some stupid ass group or higher power or something like that See, the thing is, I got sober because I acknowledged the consequences of what I was doing. And I think to myself, would I rather be an alcoholic or would I rather be a blue belt in jiu-jitsu? I chose the latter. What's more is a lot of people say that you become addicted, like when you become homeless and things like that. That didn't work. That's not the way it worked for me. It was just the opposite. I had to stay on my toes 24 seven 
all day, every day. I couldn't afford to drink, let alone get hung over. You see, there are a lot of lies being told and a lot of people wanting to get money from addicts to make sure that they get paid because addiction recovery has become a business these days. It's just that simple. And, um, I have managed to deal with my problems and find reasons to remain sober and keep myself going. And, um, as far as my relapse, I admit I did that to myself. It wasn't some stupid ass disease that made me do it. I did it to myself and I, and I take full responsibility for it. Just like I have taken full responsibility for my sobriety. And, um, it's like, you know, you say, Oh, this person had a hard life and all that stuff. Well, guess what? I had a pretty nasty childhood too. I'll spare you the details, but it was not pleasant to be me. In fact, a lot of people now probably wouldn't envy me either. But that being said, I took responsibility. And I'm just a guy with high functioning autism. It's simply called be a fucking man. Fuck your traumas. Fuck all that, your feelings. Fuck all that bullshit. Grow up and get and sober up. You know? And some of you were saying, oh, I'm, not, I'm just shaming you. I can't say that. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I just did. There is never an excuse to relapse. Any excuse you have to relapse is just fucking weak. And if you relapse, that's your fault. Just like it was mine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be good, y'all.